What is going on everybody? Today we're looking at the Diamond Select Toys Lord of the Rings Deluxe Action Figures of Merry and Pippin. So these are part of Series 7. And of course they both look really cool and awesome that they did come together. So we have Merry and Pippin, our two hobbits that are always kind of seen together. Which look pretty awesome. Now I'm never a huge fan of the hobbits themselves in the movie. I always find them kind of boring. So not too excited for these. But of course we get more of a figure so we can see up close here. Of course it's going to be hard to see with the plastic. But they have their likenesses. Again, I don't think they're bad. They do a pretty decent job but they're not perfect they could do a little bit better but overall the figures are going to look nice and how they do from the movie we get a handful of accessories as well to go along with each of them so there we've got mary and then we also got pippin here so he looks pretty nice again we'll see that likeness more closely i think he's the worst of the two again very similar accessories but also comes with the dragon firework as well so both of those look really cool so just more lord of the rings diamonds like figures that i like having this line like i said i wish the figures themselves would be better like have better joints and movements and all that and likenesses are just fine they're not great but decent enough for what they are so this is a line i really like collecting but just i wish the figures could just improve over time so i have to see how mary and pippin go along with that so let me go and get these open out of the box and we'll take a look at them together so here we've got Merry and Pippin, two more hobbits from the Shire. Both look pretty good. Like I said, their likenesses aren't the greatest in the face. Like you can see who they're supposed to be. And of course, we'll look at them closer. But I still don't think they're that good. But like their outfits and everything look really nice. You know, look how they do in the movies. They did a pretty good job with that, especially more from the Fellowship of the Ring. So it's nice to get them. But we've got Mariotic Brandy Buck and Peregrine too. And they are cousins. And then they're also cousins with Frodo. Mary is a closer cousin to Frodo, making Pippin a more distant cousin but they are all related as cousins so it's kind of nice that we have family members here and they just look good so we'll go ahead and just look at one first so we'll start with mary which looks pretty nice overall i don't think again the likeness is there it doesn't look very much like dominic monaghan but every time i see this face though i think of sam so i always think he's got like sam face even though it doesn't look like sean ashton very much either it's just that's the face that it just reminds me of with the hair design and everything so he has the a little bit longer bushier hair like a lot of the hobbits have and he looks like brown brown color maybe like a blondish to it whatever and then the face like I said doesn't really look too much like Dominic Monaghan but the face overall looks good you could probably use this for just any Hobbit character you want if you want to do a mashup or something but then we have his outfit so again just how he appears in the Fellowship of the Ring where he has this green overcoat on so this longer sleeve coat nice texture and stuff to all the designs you can see he even has like little designs like rings and the buttons and stuff painted on there then underneath he has like this yellow vest on over the top of a long white shirt we can see the top of the white shirt like the color they're open and then even that vest has all sorts of, like paisley designs or whatever they call it there looks nice you can see the buttons all there buttoned up then he's got some brown pants on like the hobbit pants so comes down just below the knees and have a pretty baggy and all that stuff but has a belt tied around his waist there so black belt and then of course we get like the dirty hairy hobbit feet there which looks pretty nice and then each of them will have the elven cloak on over the top that they get from gladriel so it looks pretty nice that they have this nice green elven cloak on as well of course with the famous brooch there on the front so looks pretty nice overall like I said likeness isn't there but the design everything like the look of the body looks like they do so hard to really get much better than that but then of course we get the movements which are always going to be lacking in these figures that's always the thing I'm most disappointed with now we can take the head off so that'll make it easier to get this cloak off so then we can do the movements without it so for the head we can get that they'll twist all the way around you can look down that far and up that far so not very much it was just a dumbbell joint as you probably saw so very little movements though then we get the shoulders that come up that far not even up to 90 so over 45 though and can rotate around we get the single elbow joint that just bends that far again barely to 90 there with rotation in it and the wrist will twist around and this hand has a hinge up and down and it does feel like their hands have stiffened up i did you know pull the hands out get the movement stuff but i can barely get the joint but it does have the hinge up and down there then we get the ab crunch so you can see the cut out there of course really hard with this jacket as well but he can crunch back and forth a little and twist all the way around and then again it's going to be hard to get in here but they do also have a twist right at the waist so just above the belt can twist all the way around as well then we go down to the hips that'll come up to 90 out to the side again with the jacket but not far from doing the splits just has a very little thigh twist pretty much nothing but just little movements there then we go down to the single knee joint that'll bend back that far so again not even to 90 about a 45 degree angle there and it has some rotation so if you want to like twist the leg around or anything you can get that movement there then we go down to the foot that'll rock back and forth and twist side to side 
side. So pretty decent movements. And if you notice here, the feet tend to be darker colors compared to the legs. The legs are like almost white, so like super pale legs, but then their feet are like a darker color, you know, been out in the sun and dirty and all that stuff, which the dirt would make sense. But just seeing the different shade colors of the skin, I don't like that too much. Cause like looking over at the Frodo and Sam that we have, they aren't like that. Their skin and feet pretty much match. So it's kind of weird cause both Mary and Pippin will be like that. So they didn't do a good job getting the paints to match, especially on the legs there, which is disappointing. But overall, works out fine, looks decent, so no issues with, like I said, likeness could be better, and as usual, the joints and stuff could move better, but they're not going to really improve any of that, probably, so it's just going to be something continuously complain about. But overall, could be better, but for what they are, they're pretty decent. And there, with the Elven Cloak, we can go to his accessories. So first, we get an additional hand. So they each come with a hand. I don't know, like, why they really need it and what this hand's supposed to serve, but they just have this more open hand, and they each come with one, but they'll be the opposite hand, so he comes with the right hand. Pippin will come with the left hand, so you could, I guess, give them both these hands if you want, but we just get that hand there, which is nice. Then we also get their weapons. So from the book, they get these weapons from the Barrow Down, so they're called Barrow Blades, but it's just like old blades. If we can get it out of the sheath there, we do get this blade, so a nice little blade that we can actually put into his hands, which I probably will do. And we, of course, get the sheath or scabbard designed for it as well, which would be nice, again, if we could attach this on them somewhere, but we can't, so it's just another extra accessory. But let's go and just try and put this in his hand. So there he's got the barrel blade, and then they come with other fun accessories. So first we get their pipe. So of course they always oh, seen smoking pipe and stuff. So that's pretty nice. A nice small little thing, small accessory, easy to get lost. And I'm not sure how well this would fit into their hands. Maybe that's what that more open hands for. But just a little pipe there we could put in their hands for that. And then also with them being obsessed with food, of course being hobbits obsessed with food. But we see more specifically Mary and Pippin. We get a pint glass or just a glass here that they can drink from. So nice little mug here, cup, whatever you want to call it. So they can drink that so we probably put that into his hands and then i don't know why specifically he comes with it but we also get two frying pans so we get two frying pans of course we saw a frying pan with sam now we get ones they have a little bit different handle design this one's got more flat handle this one's more round handled and then a little bit deeper sides and more flatter for this side so two different skillets there so they can be making their breakfast or second breakfast or whatever they want there with those and to go along with that cooking, we also get some utensils. So we get a fork and a spoon design. So pretty nice for that. So obviously we wouldn't give them anything we want there. So pretty nice that they come with all that. Again, don't know why specifically Mary came with all those. I feel they could have given each a pan and each a utensil or something just to sort of spread it out there. But still relatively nice it came with all those accessories for Mary. And then we can move over to Pippin. Which again, his likeness isn't the best either of Billy Boy. Like, I don't think it's horrible. I can see more Billy Boy than I could see Dominic Monaghan and Mary. But so it's not nice. It's just his eyes look weird. Almost like he's like super high, just the way they're designed. But especially if you go like here to the side, it does look more like Billy Boy. Just straight on. The eyes look a little bit too awkward. So they did a much better job with Pippin. But just like Mary, he's got pretty much the same hair design. So the longer hair, of course, a lot of hobbit hair and stuff with the brown color to it and everything looks nice there. Then we get his outfit again, going to be very similar to Mary has the elven cloak on over the top as well but then he's got his outfit that is a pretty similar design it's not an exact repeat or copy which is nice but he's got more of this teal collar jacket on and then underneath he's just got this cream collar shirt that's all buttoned up he does also have a scarf tied around his neck so nice they included that scarf and you can easily you know pop his head off and the cloak off and get that scarf off if you don't want him then pretty much the exact same pants design just in a much darker color so it's like a black or a really dark brown that is darker than mary had and the same belt design and all that and then down to his Feet. again his hairy hobbit feet that have some mud on but again you see the lighter pale legs into the darker feet there so don't like that once again so overall pippin looks pretty decent once again like i said likeness i feel is more there than mary had but still not the best but overall still looks pretty nice now his movements will be exactly the same we'll still try to do it so his head can twist all the way around again hard with the hair and all the stuff going on there and then you look down that far and up that far so again very little movements unfortunately the shoulders will come up now with the elven cloak on it'll be much harder to do the movements so i can barely get it out to the side because of that oh maybe if we twist around here so yeah still goes out that far so just about 45 and can rotate around this single elbow joint to 90 with rotation the wrist will twist around and hinge up and down but again i can't get the hand to really hinge then we can go to the ab crunch so you can see it under the scarf there so he can crunch back and forth and twist around and then has the twist at the waist as well then down to the hips up towards 90 and out to the side. You can get close to doing the splits. A little bit of thigh twist up in there. The single knee joint that bends back that far with the rotation in it. And the foot will flex back and forth and twist side to side. 
So yeah, the exact same movements that Mary had. So Mary and Pippin are exactly the same, just different outfit designs and head designs, of course. But it does make sense that they're just going to be repeats of each other. Now for his accessories, he comes with the hand, like I said, the opposite. So he comes with the left hand with that same sort of design. So we get that, whatever that's meant for. We also get his barrow blade. So we get his blade in the sheath. So he has that sort of blade, which looks nice. So we can put that in his hand. So there he's got his blade. And just like Mary, he comes with a pipe as well. So we get his pipe design there. He he also comes with the exact same cup design so again they can have the cup and then his extra accessories that he comes with the dragon firework that Gandalf had that they steal from Gandalf and set off so pretty nice he comes with that big firework there nice design for it with the gold and the all orange color and everything looks pretty nice for that as well so that's a fun extra accessory that he came with but like I said pretty much the exact same figure as Mary came with all those extra accessories I don't really care too much about but for what it is they're pretty nice so there we've got Mary and Pippin now together with their blades now ready to help defend Frodo so those look really nice together and speaking of Frodo we can go ahead and bring in our other hobbits so here we've got Frodo and Sam so there we got our four hobbits that leave from the Shire together to take the ring to Rivendell so that looks pretty nice having our four hobbits together you can see the size difference with Sam being the tallest Frodo being the smallest and Merry and Pippin in between so pretty nice to have them now completing our hobbits of the fellowship and just so you see size comparison, here is Boromir. So I thought Boromir would be good to go with Merry and Pippin. So there's Boromir. So you can see the height difference between the hobbits and our normal human characters. So you can see how small they are compared to our normal human characters. So nice to see how small they are compared to the men. And once again, two more nice characters to add to the collection. Like I said, they can be improved. The likenesses could be better. The figures could have better movements and all that. But for what they are, I still like collecting the line. I like, you know, being able to build out a Lord of the Rings line in the modern days with these figures. So it's really nice and we're getting pretty far you know we've got all the fellowship now and with the next wave we'll start to get in more like secondary characters so it's nice that they are starting to get pretty deep into the line and I just hope they continue to do more but I would love to see like improvements to the figures overall just better movements and all that but they're probably stuck with what they have but still two nice figures to add nothing really wrong with them could be improved of course but still nice overall so let me know what you thought of these two figures down in the comments and if you enjoyed my review let me know with that like and don't forget to hit the subscribe button to see more but I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all stay awesome out there and I'll see you in our next review.